Hi, it's Barry from Birdwatch World and these are sooty oyster catches. These birds have featured on the channel before but I filmed this footage at my local beach recently and I really wanted to share it with you. This footage shows them foraging around for food and using their incredible skills on the rocks with those specialised feet that grip really well to the rocks. If we take a look close up you can see these feet are just perfectly designed for foraging on the shoreline at low tide. They're padded on the bottom and they also have almost human fingernail like claws on each toe that are just perfect for gripping onto the rocks and also prying things such as mollusks off the rocks to get at the meat inside. Here you can see this bird using those specialised feet to grip to this very wet rock which would be quite difficult for your eye to do. And they have no problem jumping up onto the rocks. Here we see a sooty oyster catcher using its beak to burrow into a kunjavoy. Kunjavoy are a type of sea squirt that is exposed at low tide and the sooty oyster catchers just love to eat them. They're an animal enclosed in an outer shell or tunic that looks like a plant as it's covered in algae. They squirt water, as you can see here, as a defence mechanism against predators or inquisitive children that like to press on them. A sooty oyster catcher's bill is perfectly designed for getting at the food it needs. It is between 5 and 8 centimetres long or around 2 to 3 inches. It's flattened from the sides and has extremely sharp edges. It's also very strong. They can hammer away at the kunjavoy and the rock and limpets and detach things and break things apart to easily get at the meat inside. This bird here is really enjoying this kunjavoy. If you are really enjoying this video, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to and ding the notification bell so that you don't miss any future video releases from Birdwatch World here on YouTube. Here that same bird is enjoying the meat from the limpet that it pulled off the rock earlier. Sooty oyster catchers are normally found in pairs or groups of up to four birds. These two birds seem to get along quite well, at least until this point. I don't know what that bird did, but the other one let him know about it. But they were right back to being friends again. Sooty oyster catchers have got to be my favourite shorebird. I could watch them for hours. Thank you for watching this video for the last three and a half minutes. I'll catch you in the next one.